Hi, if you'd like to come on in, have a seat for some symbolic support, we're going to utilize the scrolls, spirit box, and tarot, and oracle. So if you want to close the eyes, cleansing the palette of perception, activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you all those who like, share, and subscribe. And to those who support and donate, you truly warm my haunted heart. It's very sunny here today. I've got the door You're open. Listening. You're listening. Yeah, definitely trying to. Uh, so, yeah, it's like staring at the sun. Uh, I like to be more in the shade of <laughs> the shadows, but we'll get her done. All right. Do -do. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you for holding space for me to share my insights. And as always, please follow your own intuition, intellect, and imagination for your own insights. Ooh, okay. I feel very, very spacious to the point where it's making me a little uncomfortable. Give me a second here. I'm going to ground in. This is definitely an empath message. I feel empathic, so and it's very typical of the divination doses, empath seers, psychonauts, fellows. Okay. Oh, it's like I can choose either direction. Oh, you know what? It, uh, when I choose either direction, it's a compassion thing. I feel, I feel compassion. Uh, I'm seeing uh, somebody. Okay. It's like, it's a robot, but it's not a robot. It's kind of like putting different pieces back together. Like I'm building a part of myself. It's something about with the left arm. Maybe you've been uh, feeling energy come in through the left arm, your connection to the divine essence, higher self, whatever the case may be. And it's not being replaced, but kind of replaced. Like it's bringing me into that whole like every seven years or 10 years, you can, you know, get new allergies or like the body has and the organs have, and forgive me if I'm wrong, you know, uh, rebuilt themselves based on whatever we've been doing, whatever we've, prov anyway, sorry, I'm not a scientist. So you know what I'm saying though, in the, in the spirit of that. And there's something about the left arm. It was like taken off. So at some point in time, maybe there was a disconnect, but it was like almost like through a choice. Siblings. Like I, you know, when people say like, I'd give my right arm for this. I'm seeing it like I'll give my left arm for this. Start. Almost like if at some point in time, maybe you had explored in a very broad way, I'm going to say the left-handed path, no judgment, good, bad, or ugly. Really, it's just power and power and what it's pursued to uh, focus on the way it's expressed anyway so but I feel as though that's being replaced so regardless of my yammerings of trying to work through it I feel as though my connection to it intuitively through the left arm has been replaced restructured changed is changing because it's very airy it's like it's unplugged and I can feel all the air like it's weird But it's okay. Like, I'm not afraid because I know what I've been doing and I'm putting pieces back together, but not in the way they once were. And now I'm seeing the Tin Man from The okay. Wizard of Oz. You know what I mean? And there's all this like oiling going on of these pieces. So it might not even be a full replacement, it's just like a lubrication. <laughs> It's a lubrication. And I'm seeing uh, an owl that is a, a drywall plug, but the, like the drywall plug is in the shape of an owl. So maybe you're sensing wherever you're going, whatever you're integrating, taking steps to. It's, it's going to be stronger. And maybe like the grounding point, whatever point you focus on. I, I'm also hearing that some might be like, whoa, uh, do I need to commit to that? I feel like, yeah, commit to that spot. And if you're like me, like a rearranger and like visions of, oh, I wonder what it looks like over here. I feel like that's already happened. 
like the things that were placed wanted desired work towards uh like maybe you put them up with like sticky things or you know used a tack or sticky tack or tape to to get the gist and you're like okay okay and you might have done these different rearranging of realities uh different realizations replenishing and now you're ready to commit with this like owl drywall plug there's two swords above the head it's like they've been placed up like a you know like i'm seeing a couch and some people like might have a fish up there that they caught uh, what what is that it doesn't matter what the word is but like in honor so it kind of feels like in this moment the fight is over i don't like using the word fight but you know what i mean you know what i mean right uh and you can kind of put them up to hang them and display them and remember but you could always know where to go grab them if you need them there's the wall and it's like i looked at everything Choice. and then took everything down replaced this left arm or replenished it maybe you like even repainted a room maybe this is like a restructuring of your reality of what's around you and you took everything out of one room and you started from scratch and put the room back together maybe you know feng shui style or having that as an element to inspire but if you're like me it can also constipate you so you know got to go with the flow but, but like being in an empty room is like a canvas for some it feels like they can breathe in that empty room by clearing out other things that represent the past they might have been power objects this that, or the other but now it's like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna choose what kind of comes in differently or maybe even leave room for other things but that space when it's not maybe feeling home homely <clears throat> whatever that means for for everyone into whatever degree of minimalist to maximalist i don't know if that's the thing but that's fine new things are going to come in and i'm making space for that in that very moment if i'm standing in this empty room or looking at this empty wall of possibilities i kind of want to have a panic attack because it's like oh my goodness but then there's that two ways like the left hand and the right hand it's like okay but i i know i'm here for a reason because i'm going to create on this canvas or i'm going to put things on this wall vision board whatever the case may be of things that i love and things that I don't even know that I'm going to really love and enjoy or learn and lean into or try and decide no thank you. Does that make sense? I feel like it makes sense. But of course, my yammerings wander all the way around and that's cool if you decide to uh, take the adventure with me. I appreciate it. <laughs> what is that thing? What is that? What is that? I think it has something to do with sailing. It's like some sort of gauge. Could even be a, like airplane or ship or something like that. Air and water anyway is very relevant. But the I'm seeing the, da, 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 the root communicating uh, with the higher self. Oh, okay. Yep. This is the, the Libra balancing of the scales. What seems to be the farthest apart, the root to the crown, the left and the right. But I can bring the left and the right hands for simplicity's sake really close together. Namaste. The light and the dark, the root and the crown, the human and the higher self. And there's this gaugey thing and that robot again this robot feels okay this gaugey thing is like gauging my energy and it's like ta-da and now even though the left and the right are apart farther apart than they were right here when I brought them together but it's like marshalling in my vision my energy broadening and it's like suddenly this gauge thing of, of air and emotions hi angela sorry they can take up more space and less space as i decide engage whoo that was like a weird little blurb there okay also seeing somebody like with a pool 
or it could be like a bathtub and you know you kind of pull the plug and let that water go okay do we want one more just the bottom sounds good acceptance is on the bottom and I want to place it with this scroll and see how like when I was speaking about the root and the crown the human and the higher self four okay I will bring these up for you action attraction and acceptance triple a triple a energy Inmate. to the masculine there are those thank you uh see how this masculine has i'm gonna say two staffs uh and they are the ones that we were speaking of earlier like hanging above the couch type thing it's like the masculine's resting for a little bit and recuperating also in that i'm saying like mr potato head you can plop pieces in and pieces out there's a recuperating of action and now it's like the feminine stepping in to contemplate okay so i'm going to go back to the rearranging of the room for simplicity's sake but i also feel like this is it's almost like i'm seeing an app you know how they have some of those soothing apps or they say they're soothing i don't know where you can rearrange or decorate a room virtually maybe before you would do it physically and translate it okay so this is kind of the same thing so the masculine right now is in a rest period of recuperation great beautiful because so. it's like waiting to come in the attraction of the female energy is like looking contemplating intuitively feeling looking at the space the space the physical space the mental space the heart space whatever the case may be where do I feel four four in a four triple four is triple a because this is like for ultimate stability <clears throat> that works for everybody not only does the space need to look well and feel well masculine and feminine it needs to uh be usable right uh, so we can actually maneuver through these and find the things that we need to find or um uh, like I'm seeing now my my kitchen and it's a longer older kitchen like I really like the kitchen table in the center of the room but day for day that is not uh, the best way for us to use the space because it's in between two things so it's like visually I really enjoy it in the middle but it's optimally it's not the best for for living for living you know what I'm saying so super moon with the female working with the 44 it's like okay this is what i'm thinking this is what i'm feeling and at some point in time there's going to be a handoff to the masculine energy that's currently possibly in a resting recuperating state and then once that's decided there's like a communion of conversations like the two hands they come together okay this is what we're going to do. We're all in agreement. We've done our compromises. We've had our conversations. This is how I use the space. This is what we want for our life. This is what we want for our energy expression. They come together and then the masculine steps in, recuperated, takes action. Libra, and it's all very, very balanced. Do I have a fly in here? That's fun. Does that make sense? It makes sense. I feel like it makes sense. Okay, I'm going to get ready to close out here. I would like to try and keep it shorter, but I know I say that all the time. If you haven't already, like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much. So, you know, I really got to clean my house. This is inspiring <laughs> to do that. But I feel like it's reflective of many realities, right? What you may want, what you may... Especially if uh, there's an impasse here or psychonaut that's looking at an existence experience that... Uh, they've been wanting to to pursue or there's a curiosity about but maybe it's Winter not solstice. your shoo shoo um preference or it's not where you feel confident 
mm, patience came up. So it's kind of like one of those things like I come back to the attraction. Like just sit with it for a little bit and see what comes see what comes through the ideas. Or read a book or be inspired by, you know, Pinterest or something like that. Nope, just on the bottom. Flowers. Try not to be fickle with the frequencies. Depending on if you're working on the, the positive or negative aspects of the male and female energies. And just noticing that. Again, that scaly thing uh, that I was seeing. Patience. The pieces will all come come together. I feel like some of us uh, can... I shouldn't say I shouldn't say it like that, but hopefully you know what I mean compassionately. Like we want to rush through it because we're excited, uh, but sometimes burnout can come in. Knight of Wands, yeah, the rush to birth something new. But there's a natural progression in the attraction to the action that inevitably leads back to attracting more of what you wanted to attract by your actions. Do you see what I'm saying? Like. The attraction leads to action, which leads more of what I was attracting. I feel like that makes sense, hopefully. And accept, accepting accepting, that it has to work for both aspects. The Knight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles. If they mean anything to you, please follow that. And then we have here Judgments and Six of Swords was on the bottom. Yeah, it's like Noah's Ark kind of style. A long time ago. That symbol. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Taking certain things. There's those two. I'm calling them swords, but they are not physical swords. They could be arrows. They could be javelin, javelin things. They could be chopsticks. They could be toothpicks. It's like making a roast. The patience when you're making a roast or if you're vegetarian or vegan, I don't know if there's something, you know, uh, paralleling to that. But you have to wind it and, you know, put it in the crock pot or however you're or in the oven and it takes time and it, there's even like nurturing in between. Add things, patience, patience for the roast. Okay. Nine of pentacles. There's those flowers. This is wise. This existence experience is feeling like it's going to supersede, even if it's just simply an empathic experience or from a seer experience and something changes or a psychonaut experience and your existence experience starts to speak to you. Not, not necessarily differently, but again, I just, I feel replenished. Like I'm very much invested in it. Maybe maybe it's the time time of the year, but the judgments are reflective of again the energies, the the left and right, to the unity of that, to the psyche and the psychic senses, but also in the aspect of like one hand feeding the other, right? Though I might be right handed, I'm aware what my left hand is holding doing is attracting for me anyway, being right-handed, what my left hand lovers is there is holding is receiving from divine or from something tangible. And it's my right hand. It's my right leg, the right side of my body. That's going to take the lead for the action. So I'm very, I feel like I'm just very aware of that. Does that make sense? I hope that that was inspiring in some way, shape or form. I am going to let you go cut in the deck over here we have art life is art you are art art in motion art attraction acceptance beautiful i'm gonna let you go i will hopefully see you tomorrow but i'm gonna get going and clean my house <laughs> enjoy <laughs> until next time